last time put out a lot of points, and I think that for the Blue Alliance, they have to stick to the same uh, concept as they had before. Yeah, I think it's all about execution here. They just have to work on uh, making sure that their cycles are quick and efficient, but also that they're trying to slow down the Red Alliance as often as they can. Yep, and the fact that the, if 5136 manages to block a ball or two, especially from 971, that might give them the edge they need to get a foothold and gain a lead in the match. Absolutely, I think uh, if any if any mistakes happen, any mistrust, if, you're, if they're going for trusses, any missed high goal shots, that really could cost either alliance the match. Yep, alrighty, let's send it down to the field and give it to Karthik to introduce the teams. All right, quarterfinal three, match number two, trying to find our third semi-finalist. The Red Alliance won the first match very convincingly. Blue's gonna need to do something different to come out with a comeback. It's gonna be tough. Let's see if they're up for the task. Introducing team 971. Spartan Robotics. In the middle, 2135. Presentation Invasion. And in the corner, 846. The Funky Oh yeah, look at those monkeys. monkeys. Down in blue, let's see if the goalie stick can have better luck this time. Keep 5136. The Mecha Pirate. In the middle, 604. Quicksilver. And 2485. The Warlords. Drivers behind the line. Starting this match in three, two, one, go. Here comes the autonomous mode, 971. Shoot and score. Back for their second. Funky Monkey shoot and score. Shoot and score. All three red balls and autonomous. Red Alliance has a large lead against Blue after autonomous mode. 30 points separates the two. That's less than one cycle, so it can be made up. One-handed grab by the 971 human player. Fantastic play. 971 threw this robot out here. Boom, it's good. Three assist cycle plus a trust. That is a 50-point cycle. 10 points for the trust. 30 points for the three assists. And 10 points for the high goal score. 971 bobbing and weaving. Takes two defenders, they still can't be stopped. You can't stop me, you can only hope to contain me. 971, in position, all three red robots in the red baseline. Blue robots ready to inbound. First pickup of the day for the Red Alliance, a missed trust. 971, 2485 with a great trust. 971 finishes. More than 100 points separates the alliances. Blue Alliance, close to deficit, still 87 point difference. Blue Alliance must, must catch up. Red Alliance, Funky Monkeys almost got a trust, bounce pass trust. 971 coming back to pick it up. Remember, at the off season event here at Chessy Foot, there are no line zone assists. You can assist from anywhere. 971, boom! Get to the chopper! 30 seconds left. We're gonna celebrate. Blue Alliance utilizing that low goal, not gonna be enough. 96 points separate these two. 971, bobbing and weaving, nobody even touching them. Boom! Top shelf. 2485 gets blocked by the funky monkeys. Five seconds left. Celebrate. Red Alliance, funky monkeys! Well, there we go. Another match, another 300 points. Good try by both alliances. You definitely could tell that Blue is trying to focus more uh, on disrupting and getting some more offense in, but Red was just too slippery. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they, they were just able to rotate around the field a little better, I think. And anytime the ball was not in their robot, they were defending. They were doing something that would effectively gain an advantage for their alliance. And yeah. I think they just were able to execute a little bit better. Yeah. It was interesting to see how they changed up their cycle a little bit as well for the Blue Alliance. 
Previously, they had had uh, uh, 2485 trying to finish the ball off. This time, they let 604 finish on the logo. Let's see how that changes the score. Paul, what do we got? We have our next semifinalist, the Red Alliance wins 290 to 154. So far, all three quarterfinal matches have gone two and out. All right, two and out on all the quarterfinal matches. Makes for quick play. Let's take a look and see where everybody ends up in the bracket. All three of our quarterfinal matches so far have ended in two matches. Yeah, exactly. So Even with one Blue Alliance winning. That's, yeah. You don't actually see that very often, I don't think. No, certainly not. Well, the number two seed will move on to the semifinals to play the winner of quarterfinal four, match, yep, quarterfinal four, match number uh, two. Let's take a look and see how they did that match. Wow, two extra cycles. Uh, they probably had one shorter cycle than the other guys, but really, the autonomous score as well kind of put them way over the top for Red. Yeah, and I believe there was only one cycle they had that wasn't, that Red had that wasn't three assists. Yep. I believe I saw one missed truss where it, it dwinked off the, the truss itself. But other than that, I'd, I mean, I think we were really seeing the difference between the efficiency and speed of those robots and versatility. Yep. In addition to the fact that Red was using the uh, three assist plus truss in the high goal strategy versus the Blue Alliance's uh, three assist, trust, and local. Yeah. After a while, that could definitely mount up and put you at a disadvantage. Yeah, especially when you're talking about four to six cycles. Exactly. Yep. All right. Well, let's see what we've got for the final quarterfinal. Well, what could be 